I'm back with a few more golden nuggets from Sean Stevenson's book, Eat Smarter. I'm going to share with you two powerful fat loss methods that are so easy anyone can do them. The first tip is to eat almonds. Now you may be thinking eating almonds is not that revolutionary, but it's the timing of the almonds that makes all the difference. A study published in the journal Nutrition Research and Practice tested three different groups. One group that didn't eat almonds at all, one group that ate two ounces of almonds before their meal, and a third group that ate two ounces of almonds between meals as a snack. After 16 weeks, they found that the group that ate the almonds before a meal lost significantly more body fat and substantially reduced visceral belly fat compared to the control group. While the group that ate almonds as a snack improved their cholesterol levels, they actually didn't see improvements in body composition like the group that was eating almonds before their meals. It doesn't get much easier than that, so just eat a handful of almonds before your meal and you're good to go. The second tip also has to do with timing, but more specifically, carbohydrate timing. Millions of Americans are getting this one wrong by starting their day with carbs. You'll find plenty of people eating cereal, a banana, a bagel, a donut, or a muffin to start their day. Unfortunately, this is the exact opposite of what you should do. A study published in the International Journal of Obesity compared participants that ate a high-carb breakfast versus a high-protein breakfast. Participants that ate a higher-protein breakfast showed a 61% greater reduction in BMI, a 65% greater weight loss, a 34% greater reduction in waist circumference, and a 16% greater reduction in body fat percentage. These results are pretty mind-blowing, as the calories in the breakfast itself were the same. This shows that improving body composition goes much deeper than just slashing calories. If you're struggling to lose weight, make sure that you're starting with the low-hanging fruit first. Are you drinking enough water, or are you drinking water at all? Are you getting 7.5 to 9 hours of sleep a night? Are you getting outside and taking a walk every day? If you answered no to any of these questions, start here along with the two methods that I've outlined in this video. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week.